Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm here with another Dracalia Lost video. Today to talk about the brand new summon banner. Nope, not a summon, no, brand, not brand new. It is the new summon banner coming. Uh, it's Valentine's Day? Uh, okay. So that's going to be today's video. So I'm going to go over the old units, the Valentine's Day Melody and Valentine's Day Addis, I believe is the name, is the way it's name pronounced. You can tell me how you feel about this, and then we'll also talk about, in general, how weird, weird it is for this to be here right now. Um, so let's first get into the to the to the banner itself. So, um, feature adventures return for a limited time. Valentine's Melody and Valentine's uh, uh, this adventures. Valentine's Day Hildegard. These are also featured. Valentine's Day Isolif, Durant, and Valentine's Day Orion. And the dragons is Epithetimus, Vayu, and Rai. Win. Those are all featured ones. Um, it'll be here from October 22nd to October 29th, and I think the end date for it is pretty important, and I'll explain, I think, a little bit why more. But let's first look at Melody. Uh, Melody throws on her best outfit for the Valentine's Day date. Despite being accident prone as ever, she's still an optimistic kind of gal. She's baked a host of treats and for all, for who knows filled them with love. But will her feelings ever be recuperated? Now you see what I'm made of. Deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead and creates a debuff zone that lasts for 10 seconds and reduces the defense of enemies ins inside of it by 15%. Splash of affection. Deals wind damage to the enemies directly ahead and inflicts poison. Critical damage 30%, wind HP equals uh, water resistance 6%, poison team strength 10%, bog resistance 100%, and poison punish at 30%. So, uh, Melody. I actually really like Melody a whole bunch. Uh, I used her up until Lin Yu got a mana spiral, and then I just kind of went for all Lin Yu at that point. Um, but I used both of them together because her. Um, Co uh, co-op ability and chain co-op ability, I believe, are different from Lin Yu, so it's possible to use them in the same team. Um, she does synergize pretty well with Poison. I think the main drawback here is the problem, which is the problem I've always had with Melody, um, is that this move right here really sends you far the hell away. It it takes some getting used to to get used to it. Um, I also think just in general right now, Wind has better Poison options, I think. And she's not the strongest unit in the world. She is, a, of course, a support unit, and she supports by just making nonstop poison. Um, but I don't know. I've always liked her. I like her a whole bunch, and I still use her, um, even if I don't think a lot of people do. I really do actually um, like her, and she's limited. So if you want to get your girl in a maid outfit, now's your best time to get them. Um, let's go on to Odys or Adis, however you pronounce his name. The warrior from another land thrown on his only nice outfit for a romantic rendezvous. He's working hard to share his feelings and his green attempts at courtship lead to distress. Still, his awkward kindness drives some wild. Coarse judgment deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies and inflicts poison. The lower the user's HP, the more damage this deals. Use HP is less than 30% of their max HP when using the skill grants all teammates a one si a one use shield that will nullify damage less than 30% of the user's maximum HP if the user's HP is above or equal to 30% of their max HP. When using this skill, reduces their HP to 20% of max HP and grants them a one use divergent shield that nullifies damage less than 80% of the user's maximum HP. Divergent shields are get stacked with uh, ordinary shields. Uh, great. Skill haste 15%. Shadow HP below 40% equals light resistance 10%. Poison Punisher. Why did Poison Punisher be the thing that screws me up? Poison Punisher 30%. Paralyzed resistance 100%. And HP below 30% equals strength and attack rate 3. Um, I don't use Otis a whole bunch. I did, if you've never seen my summon video for him, you should check it out because I got them all, all the Valentine's units in one multi. Um, I got him. But I've never actually used him, and the main reason is that I don't really like Bo a whole bunch. But from what people have told me, he's actually an extremely um, strong DPS if you want to use him for that. Um, and plus, look at him. He's a beefy dude. He's a, look, look at this man's perfect chest right here. You know, 
and at its face value, I really do like that he's one of the Valentine's Day units who's actually a five. I thought that was actually a very um, bold choice on Dragalia's part, especially with like, like the last person you would think to ever get a Valentine's Day five is this dude. Um, but I think it's cool that he got it. Yeah, I think he's, I think technically speaking, he is the better unit between him and Melody. Um, so if you got him, then congratulations. He's extremely good. Uh, Apophetimus. Toxic Solitude. Deals shadow damage to the surrounding enemies and inflicts poison. Shadow strength 50%. Poison punish 20%. I can't remember if any people use this guy. I always thought that they would if Poison Punisher was good enough, but I think most people end up going just with Cotsith over him. At least as far as I can tell. Um... I've never really had a use for him personally, but that's also because I have, didn't put a lot of stones into him. So I haven't been able to get many dupes of him either, so there's that. So yeah, the Valentine's Day units are limited, specifically Melody and Otis are limited. I don't remember if, um, yeah, okay, so yeah, it's only them two are the limited units. See, that's my problem isn't with the units, my problem is, is that what in the name of hell is Dragalia doing? Putting the brand new Halloween servants up for three days. It doesn't make any sense. And as someone who has. Well, no, because. I think it's annoying. It's really annoying. And I'll tell you right now why it's annoying. One, it should have immediately been a Halloween banner. Even if a Halloween banner shows up later, that doesn't matter. A Halloween banner should have been the next thing, not a Valentine's Day one. Because currently we're celebrating Halloween. And I guess that they want to technically have it closer to halloween then i guess the perfect time is after this banner ends but i don't know man it feels really weird and kind of a dick move to put the limited units up for only three days it's okay if it's a galley unit because you know it's a galley unit they're super good and that's usually what we expect from them but for halloween that's just insane halloween units don't show up very often through the year and for the people who didn't get them or weren't prepared for them um, I mean, I don't think those two units in particular, I think it would have been a more of an outcry if those two ha new Halloween units were better, but they are still extremely, like, likable characters. I still think there's a, a thing of, like, well, yeah, they're not the greatest, but it still sucks because those are characters, like, people love Melsa and people like Akasha, so for the people who didn't get them, you know, they might have been waiting for a single feature rate because it's easier to get units on a um, non-Gala banner um, compared to a Gala banner because Gala banners, um, I forget, Lerp explained it to me, but basically it's easier to pull a featured unit when it's not Gala banner because when it is Gala banner, you're more likely to get more um, units in general. Um, but I don't know. It's really weird. The timing of this is weird. But the other thing I was going to say is that even if, okay, say someone like me, um, you know, and this is something that someone, this is a problem that I only have because I'm a long time player and I wanted to get the units when they came out, but these past couple of, uh, banners, specifically the Stirring Shadows and the Valentine's Day ones, I literally have no use for them. I have all the units on it. And the only ones I did, I was missing was Halloween, the Amartemis, which is a Halloween unit. Um, I would have liked more chances, personally, of trying to get that dragon that I'm missing, even if it was an extremely low chance on a Halloween banner over units that I already had. I don't know. I think, again, I mean, this is specifically a problem that is only coming to me as someone who doesn't need anything for the Valentine's Day banner. For people who need Valentine's Day Melody and Otis, um, this is going to be great for them, because they get to get them before having to wait for February, because who knows if the world's going to last till February. But I still think it's just bizarre. Just the entire planning of Halloween has been not good. I don't know if they just don't want to keep it, like, I don't know if they don't want to keep Halloween a, I don't get, I just don't get it. I just, well, the, the main thing I was trying to think of was like, is maybe someone, you know, because of the Corona stuff, um, they have to start making more plays to make more money and so they don't want to give free multis for halloween because they know people would potentially spend for halloween um over something like a rerun of valentine's day um especially with how with which is i think the the end of the whoops the song stopped because my internet died 
I'll start it over. Um, I don't know. It feels weird. But, but my main thing was, like, the idea is that someone said, like, well, we can't give them Halloween for free longer than three days because, you know, we could make money off of Halloween. So let's just give them Valentine's Day. And at the end of Valentine's Day, because at the end of Valentine's Day, I can't remember if it's, if it's the 29th or the 27th, but that's the end of the free multis. And so at the end of the free multis, they could bring back Halloween and then they could get a sizable chunk of people to maybe spend on Halloween if it's like, well, now it's my last chance. I don't know if I'm going to get them. I can, you know, maybe spend some cash to make sure I get them now that I don't know when they're going to be coming back or something. That's just speculation on my part. I do know, I think the Trigali devs have said in the past that they have in some ways been impacted by Corona, but they've tried to not make it affect that the game that they've released, which I think they're making... I don't know if they're doing a 100% good job on that just because we do get we still do get new events we still get a lot of reruns though and it's not as bad as like other gacha games probably out there but it's very clear that there is some here's the thing I don't ever want to get too angry because there's a pandemic going on so the last thing that I need to really I like I really don't have it in me and I really just don't have it in me to be mad at people who are potentially being compromised by Corona. At the same time, if you're someone who's playing the game though, that doesn't matter. What matters is what you currently have. It doesn't matter how many excuses people can give you. Um, what matters is what's in the game. And what's in the game is that it doesn't matter how badly they were affected by that thing. What does matter is that they've really screwed over a lot of people who did not pull those Halloween units in the three day time period. Because if people knew that they were only here for three days, more people would have pulled on that banner. But we didn't know that. We thought that next would be Halloween, because who in their right goddamn mind would have expected Valentine's Day to be next? Anyway, I'm going to cut the video off right there, because those are basically my thoughts. I think these units are pretty solid. They're limited, so it's not like... There are worse banners they could have run. They, we could have had two weeks of the Stirring Shadows, which I would have been, been like absolutely pissed if that were the case. Uh, just because there's really no reason for Stirring Shadows to have ever needed a fucking rerun. I can't believe they fucking reran Stirring Shadows for a week. That is insane. I don't get it. I don't get it. I do get it. Maybe. My, basically, my thought pattern is, is like, is there a very bad business dev who's finally been allowed to speak at Regalia to say like, hey, what if we did this? And usually they said like, hey, that's kind of a dick move. Let's not do that. But now the Corona stuff is going, it's like, well, maybe we need to be a little bit more of a dick to get more money. And the answer is like, no, you don't. You don't have to do it that way. You can just make in very enticing banners. They could have made a platinum banner for Halloween units. People would have pulled on that, especially if you're someone who was newer to the game. And, you know, it's very hard to get Halloween Mim and it's very hard to get Halloween El Ellie at the same time. You could have easily pulled. There was like solutions to this that did not require fucking over people with a three day Halloween banner. And maybe all this like thought process that I'm having currently is all null and void because at the end of this 29 days, Halloween shows up and then it's like okay that's weird but it's here now weird but if there's no Halloween banner when it hits the 29th this is there's no easy way to say it other than they have colossally fucked up bad there's no like defending it even like my knee-jerk reaction which is to defend people during what is in case working during a pandemic the decision to only have halloween for three days is a bad one and the only reason i'm like not 100 like well maybe there's a chance out here the 29th if we hit the 29th and they just move on to november it's fucked up man it's fucked up but that's basically the end of my thoughts you can tell me your thoughts here hopefully i came across correctly i'm still recovering from a very bad cold that I've been having for like the past week, so hopefully that made sense in some minds. I also just finished working. <laughs> so that's the perfect time to record a video. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of today's video, everyone. Of course, if you liked it, you can leave a like. If you made it this far, anyway. Um, comment about how you feel. You subscribe to me for more Chigalia stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have a good day out there now. You understand? You guys have a good day. Goodbye.